racks up, I'm proud of you. All bad bitch eat seafood. Took the hot box on a detour. Came back red on the bottom of the show. Good morning, babes. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shatasha, aka your city cousin. For those of you who are new here, today is exciting because it's pickup day for my Tesla. So we are out here at the Kennesaw pickup location in Georgia, and I will be picking up my Model Y. So let's go see if it's ready. I think it's not ready yet. I'm a bit early, but my day has just been all over the place today. So it's really been a shit show, but we'll see what happens. Hey y'all, so we are about to charge the Tesla for the first time. Um, we're over here at Kroger, so like our neighborhood Kroger has these electric vehicle stations set up. So this will be our first time because we don't know exactly how to work it, but we're going to figure it out. Maybe I should have backed in. Should I back in? Mm -mm. It's in the front. What? No, the charger, the charger the port is back there. Oh, on the Mustang, it's in the front. Yeah, no, the charging port is back there. I think I probably should have backed in, but that car was in the way. Um, what? I'm going to back in and see. Should we get out and look at it? That? Somebody else's car? We're going to see. We we about to learn. And, y'all, it's nighttime, but who cares? We're going to figure this thing out. All right, come on, baby. Let's, let's get out and see. Let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, yeah, it's this. Oh, I did it. Yep, it's right here. So, I probably should back in. She how far? Yeah, probably. That's cool. Isn't she lovely? I need fingerprints. Cold as hell. I got my mats and stuff, but y'all let's see it when we put all the accessories in. What's up, folks? Let me show you the fireplace. Oh, that's not all. Make it do that thing, babe. Oh. <laughs> oh, the heat just came on too. Got the seat warmers on. See, look at what it did to the window. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tasha I can tried to you. clean the windshields. You gotta buy gas to use the squeegee. No, you don't. Yes, you do. I do not have to buy gas. Yes, okay, do. let me try to figure out how to do this for the first time. So here's Electrify America Dispenser. How do we work? Plug in first. Okay. Look at him. He, he already two steps ahead. He back here on this one. Okay. It ain't the so right the one, one, I don't think. It think it's that no, one. No, I got to put my um thing in there. What thing? The attachment. Attachment. Oh. Yeah. See, look at you. Just doing stuff. Just doing stuff. I'm ambitious. Okay. So. <laughs> These folks probably looking like, do they know what they're doing? That's not nice. <laughs> okay, so here is the attachment. Which part goes into the car? What did they say? This part goes into the car. Yeah. yeah. So, how does this go on there? I don't know. See if it fit. Look, this attached right here, so it gotta go like this, right? Or. What's up? <laughs> you don't even they not even the same i don't know let me see what does this look like uh, this be, this be you, you sure uh, no no this can't be the right one you sure this one do tassels i don't know you gonna find it out today What's this? This is the one that goes into the wall at the house. Oh, they 
folks. All right, y'all. So we learned that Electrify America little dispensers don't really work for Tesla unless you have um, a specific adapter that costs like four hundred dollars. But we're not buying, so I can go to a Tesla supercharger. And it'll actually charge my car way faster and it may be cheaper than using these. So, I guess I won't be charging my car at the gas station, unfortunately, because it would have been way more convenient than driving to the mall. But, I don't know. We'll see what other options we have along the way. Alright, we'll check in back with y'all later because this was a fail. But it wasn't a fail. It was a learning experience. So, just a learning curve that we have to get over. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, I and it guy, gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two-turn baby girl, you know me, Caught a shorty off a famous star Just the one I'm really a surprise shot Where did I been living off a Hey y'all, welcome back. So I want to show y'all real quick some of the accessories and the equipment that I bought for my Tesla to customize it. Because in the morning, she's getting a makeover. So let me just show y'all some of the stuff that I picked up off of Amazon that I'm going to be using in my car to make it more special for me. Alright, so the first thing I got is these um, luminous car cup holders. And what they do is you put them in the cup holder and you can control like the LED color lights and whatnot. And they actually have like the Tesla logo on them. So, let's see. Oh, you must have to pull it off. Please turn up protect the film before you use first charge. Okay, um, I think you gotta take these off. Oh, wow, yeah, oh, these are so pretty. You see it? Oh, there it is. Those are so freaking pretty. Okay, ah, babe, you gotta see these. You gotta see these coasters. The coasters. Yeah, they they are so pretty. Oh, this is so cute. It is so cute. Okay. So I got those. Um, and then you have to let them charge. I'm gonna put them in the front two cup holders, so it's gonna be real cute at nighttime. But I have to charge them both, so let me go ahead and plug them up. All right, y'all. I plugged them up in the charger. Let me show y'all what they look like. Look at them change colors. Oh, my God. That's so cute. That is so cute. All right, y'all. So, the next thing I got is a customized um, license plate um, frame. And it is in the black rhinestones. So that is very pretty. Y'all can like see it shimmering. Oh yes, so cute. So I got that. Um, I found out that if I was to put the UGA tag on there, I wouldn't get the benefits of having like one of the alternative fuel tags. So I think I'm gonna have to get a alternative fuel um, tag because I want to ride the HOV lane. So, sorry, Georgia, I'm no longer supporting scholarship fund. All right. So the next item is the item that I was told was like the most important accessory that you needed to get for your Tesla if you didn't buy anything else. And I guess it should have been the first thing I showed y'all, but I've yet to actually put it in, so I haven't showed y'all. But um. It's a glass screen protector because obviously in the Tesla we have that huge monitor in the center. And so um, 
I haven't taken the paper off of mine yet, but when you take the clear film off, the actual screen is very prone to fingerprints and that bothers me like i hate when i have like a smear in my glasses so i like no that's not gonna work <laughs> so i bought this like matte glass screen protector so that way even though you have a screen protector on there it also is matte so you don't have to worry about the fingerprints and you don't have to worry about the light glare from like the sun next i bought this um phone holder that goes in the actual air vent because I didn't want one that clip onto the screen. I don't want anything to actually obstruct the screen. So um, when I saw this one that fits in the air vent, I thought this was really good. And you have to have a certain um, model wire, model three for it to actually fit because it's customized just for that. But um, I don't think it works on the X and the S. It literally says model three and Y. And here's what it looks like on the dashboard. I like it. I use it. The only thing about it, I have the um, pop socket on the back of my phone because I have the, what phone do I have? The Is it 12 or 13? But it's one of those and it's the Pro Max. So I have the big iPhone and I need that on the back of my um, phone. So that part doesn't fit. So I have to like put my phone in upside down and then turn it um, horizontally and then it works. So haven't had a problem with that i really like it and again if you don't have the pop socket on the back of your phone you don't even have to worry about that so the next item i bought are these um shadow lights these 3d shallow lights and yeah i know when like a nice car open their door and then like the logo shines on the floor that's what these are so i want these installed in my car so that when i open the door at nighttime, like you see the emblem, you see the Tesla uh, symbol pop up. So I plan on putting these on the driver's side and the passenger side. Um, I think this is a four, yeah, this is a four count, but um, I don't wanna put them all over the car. Like I feel like it's tacky. So I'm gonna just put these on the front. All right, so next I have these um, hubcap center pieces. And I bought these because I am customizing the tires. So that's what I'm really excited about. Um, so these little caps here will go in the center because the center caps of my Tesla currently are black with the emblem in it. So I want all the T's to be silver since the T's are actually silver on the car. That's like the only chrome thing on it. So I figured that these T's should probably be silver as well. And that way it kind of like brings a little attention to the car because after that you have brake pad covers <laughs> so i bought these in red um i was gonna buy them in yellow and ken was like the only ones that have like sports cars that have yellow brake pads with red are ferraris and I was like, okay, I just look like a fire sports car, but it's a Tesla. And he was like, it'll look like McDonald's. Really? Really? So, I decided to get red anyway. Um, can I take it out the box? So, I'm not going to fight with the box, but here is what the brake pad cover looks like. And then... It comes with all of these um, Tesla stickers. So you can do Tesla in like silver metallic. And there's also black. But when you put the sticker on, it's going to go across here. I can show you one of them, like what it'll look like. But essentially, it'll look like this on the car. So on the brake pad. Alright y'all, so the next item is in this box, but I can't take it out, like there's no point, but it's basically a cargo cover, and that's just because unfortunately they don't come in like a lot of these SUVs, so Tesla didn't put it in theirs, um, but it's an aftermarket cargo cover from Amazon, and you just pull it to like cover the cargo area so like people won't see what's in the trunk because even though the window is kind of pretty high up in the back like people still can see like what's in your car so I don't want people seeing what's in my trunk so I got that and then the last item worth mentioning is not here because I had to go ahead and put those in the car but they are the 
waterproof all weather um, floor mats. So Tesla does come with mats already inside of the car, but they're the cloth mats. And um, I'm just a big fan of the all weather mats because I don't have to worry about cleaning like, you know, dirt or whatever um, out of carpet. So I like the all weather purpose mats. But all of the accessories from today's video will be linked in the description below. Um, I did buy all of these items off of Amazon. And as far as the customizations of it, I'm going to get them done at my cousin's shop here in Atlanta at 404 Motorsports. So that will also be linked in the description if you're interested in like, you know, having any type of auto body work done or like car customization. He does specialize in that. Alright, so I showed y'all my accessories. Now we just have to go get the car customized. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, babe. So I am out here at 404 Motorsport here in Atlanta. This is my cousin's auto body shop, and he's about to customize Luby Red for us. So let's take a look at her. So this is what she looks like before, and we are about to upgrade her tires. Well, really just the brake pads. Um, we're going to tint her a little bit more. We're going to put the shadow lights on her. Um, maybe a little tint to the front and then you see how we have the chrome tees on the actual auto body of the car we're gonna put those chrome tees in the um, center pieces of the rim so she's gonna be cute she's gonna be cute I'm really excited about it we're gonna see we're gonna see what they do the boys about to make it look a little bit more fancy all right, babe, so I'm here at this window tennis shop that my cousin referred me to, which is right up the street from his shop, 404 Motorsports. But we're here at window tinning here in the city. And there's their number. And you see Luby Red, she's in there getting ready to get all done up, done up. So yeah, if y'all looking for somewhere to tint y'all windows, I highly recommend. And then where's Terrell? Where did he go? Here's Terrell, so. Oh. This is man, if y'all come and see, if y'all trying to get y'all windows tinted, y'all see what it looks like now, but just wait till it come out. He gonna get it right. right. <laughs> right hey y'all, so I am back. Um, I'm currently at the Tesla chargers, the supercharging um, stations, because y'all, it's been a long day. So, I did get my windows tinted, even though right now, like, it looks super translucent when I hold the camera like this, but they're dark, so I'm pretty surprised that it looks like that. Um, can you see back there? Like, those are tinted. Like, it's all tinted. I did all the um, windows around the car, and then I did the back window, and then I did the front strip up here. Um, you can see it, but... It's pretty dark when you look at it on the outside, even though it doesn't look that dark on the inside. But I like it. I really do. Um, I have to wait for it to cure. And then it's also raining outside. So it's like wet on the outside. So I was looking at it to make sure like the interior looked good in all of them. And so far, I mean, so good. I'll have to see, obviously, like when it's sunny outside and it's not raining. And I can actually inspect it a little bit more. Um, as far as the actual customizations of the car, I got a little few issues. <laughs> so we ran into a little bit of trouble because uh, it's really rainy and it's really stormy here in Atlanta today. And so the power kept going out at my cousin's shop. And he was really hesitant putting it on the lift because he didn't want it to be up on the lift and then the power go out and then it stuck. And then also we had an issue with me not having the like like little hockey puck looking things that actually um, go in the Tesla at the bottom for you to lift the car up. So I had to order those on Amazon. It was like $25. So they'll be here tomorrow. Um, so he wasn't able to actually jack the car up or lift the car up to put the brake pad covers on and to change out the center pieces of the hood caps. But that's actually okay because it might save me some money. Um, because we talked about like the brake pads and all of that. And he told me that he would actually prefer to paint them than put the cover on because it could be a safety issue if like one of the bolts come loose or if the brake pad covers come loose and other stuff about auto stuff that I mean, 
I just know that if you tell me and it sounds like a safety issue and you say you recommend something else, I'm going to go with it. I don't know much about cars, but, but that's my family. And if he prefers to paint it as opposed to using a cover, then I'm going to go with that. So we're going to push that back um, until next weekend because I'm about to go on a trip. So we're not going to actually see the finished product until next weekend. But yeah see i learned how to charge the car like it wasn't that bad at all like these superchargers are so great they plug directly into the car so i'm here for it all right y'all so i have just a few minutes left on this charge but um when i do get the car finalized y'all will be the first ones to see it good morning babes so i am excited because today i go pick my tessie up from the shop so as y'all know, I took her to the shop um, last week to get her tinted and to get the brake pads done and all of that good stuff, but we ran into some issues so we couldn't get the brake pads done. However, I was able to order the pieces that we needed to lift my car up and then we got the brake pads situated. So I was able to take my car back up there this weekend and today I go pick her up. So I am super excited to see what the final product looks like and I can't wait to show y'all. Hey y'all, so I am ready for the final reveal. I am super excited with how everything has came out with the customizations that I've made. And so let's take a look at my Tesla Model Y. All right, so the first thing that I want y'all to see is that we definitely chose to go ahead and add the in-home charging at home because I don't have time to keep going to the supercharger all the time and we are able to take advantage of like incentive rebates here in my county so make sure you check that out if you are going to be ordering an electric vehicle and as y'all can see ooh, not it blowing at me but as y'all can see um, we did go with the charge point instead of the Tesla charger because Kian is planning on getting an electric vehicle as well. So we wanted to make sure we had something that was universal. And then here, what I do, I just put the Tesla um, adapter on it and then I'm able to charge the car. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Luby Red. Isn't she lovely? So what I'm gonna do is show y'all some of the features that you can see um, at nighttime with the car that I won't be able to necessarily show you when I pull outside into the daylight. So first things first, I want to show you guys that I added the Tesla light to the bottom of the doors so that when I open the doors, I actually have the Tesla emblem and then the um, logo on the ground, which I absolutely love. And I just think that this was a great feature to add because being that this car is pretty pricey, I felt like it lacked a few luxury components that I would have had had I gone with like the BMW that I was looking at or even like the Lincoln and the um, Genesis. And so I added the Tesla lights because I felt like it just gave it that extra mm. All right, so getting inside the vehicle, I do have mats on all of the um, floors. And these are the all-weather mats. Y'all saw me install those in my video. And so I went with like a sleek pattern. It may be a little dirty, but um, I didn't want any logos or anything on the mat. So I went with some that didn't have any. And then you can see in the back seat as well. I love these doors. You push in and pull out. Oh, it's locked. Hold on. Let me unlock it. All right, so I love how you push in and pull out with the doors. And then you see in the back, aside from my umbrella, I have the all-weather mats in here as well. And they're just flush with the um, design of the layout already. But you guys will get a better view of that when I pull out into the light. So let's get in and I can show you the rest of the things that I've done outside. All right, so here is my baby outside in the natural light. And the first thing that you will notice is that I definitely got the windows tinted. So the back windows were already tinted um, 
like a I think 20 and so what we decided to do is put a 20 on the front and then darken the back so that we have like the limo tent somewhat in the back and then around the car and then the front two windows just have like that 20 tent and then I did do the um, tent strip across the top of it so that way we do reduce some of that sunlight and then while we're in the front so it's a little dirty excuse it because honey this pollen is ridiculous but while we're in the front I do want to point out that I did add these decals to the Tesla emblems because they were originally chrome and so I went with a metallic silver so the funny thing is when you put them on chrome they look like a black shimmer but when you put them on black they look like a silver shimmer and I'll show you what I mean because we also added that same decal vinyl to the tires in the middle and that's when it actually looks that silver color and then while we're down here with the tires you also see that I did have the brake pads painted red and then it does have the Tesla works on it and let's see if I can get close up in there so you can see the T the E S L A and so that's what we had painted at my cousin's shop at 404 Motorsports so as you can see that tent does go all the way around and then we also have all of the brake pads painted in vinyl so i'm not going to show you guys my license plate but i do want you to see that i did put the rhinestone license plate um frame on it and then also i have the t back here with like that midnight silver blackish looking decal and you see how dark the tent is absolutely love it absolutely love 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 it all right so i'm about to get ready to head out and before i do i do want to show y'all two final features that i added to the car one is more of a convenience and the other one is more so for aesthetics and so i feel like this one is definitely something the ladies would appreciate having our hooks on the back of the headrest so ladies usually you know our passengers take you know shotgun however when there are people in the car you can't always put your bag in the front so what i did i bought these leather hooks and they are black and they have like the red lining on them and so i put these on both of the headrests and that way whenever i'm about to leave or if there's someone in the seat with me like kian is in the car or ash is in the car you know whoever's riding with me i can actually hang my bags on the um hooks so that way I'm not putting them on the floor. So generally I would do this from the front seat, but since I'm here already, I'm just gonna go ahead and hook my purse onto that hook. And that way, when I'm actually sitting in the front, I just reach back across and I grab my purse. This is just a blanket, ignore it. <laughs> but yeah, I grab my purse and then that way I head out. I will say just make sure you don't forget it because I mean, I think it's natural for a woman to make sure she always has her purse but sometimes things are out of sight out of mind so just be cautious of that but I definitely think the hooks are good to have and then I just love the finish of them like y'all see how well they look with the black leather seats and then it's the black leather with the red trimming and that red trimming is perfect because it matches the car all right and then getting back into the driver's seat that will never get old. I love it. <laughs> so y'all can see I actually have the garage open now. So it's not that vibrant in daylight. And I mean, we're still in the shaded area because we're in the garage. But you see, it wouldn't show up outside in the sun. So I think it'll look really dope at nighttime, especially like those nights when we go out. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> is that my bestie in a test seat? All right, so getting back in the car, you do notice here this little device, and I bought this off of Amazon. That is the phone hook that I had um, purchased, and I have an issue with it because I keep the pot socket on the back of my phone, even though it's the one that you can twist off, but it doesn't flush very well with it. So when I put my phone in, I have to put it in upside down and then just turn it like sideways, but I still think that this is an awesome phone hook to have because you see like the full range of motion. It's a full 360 and so I think that's very useful and I love how the design of it like goes perfectly with the aesthetics of the car so it looks as if it's almost built into the vehicle all right so the next thing we'll notice is that I also added that decal to the steering wheel um, Tesla logo and if you look you can really see like that 
silver metallic shimmer finish on it and these were super easy to install at first when I got them I thought they were black and so I had to write the um company and tell them they sent me the wrong color but he was like no actually when you install it and the light hits it it's a different color it just looks black on paper all right y'all and the last thing I want to show y'all are the Tesla cup holder inserts that I purchased and they're just like LED lights that light up they are motion activated and so at nighttime this is real vibrant so you can see it right now because we're in the um, garage but it keeps going out simply because I do have the garage open and so that light from outside is coming in and it's keeping them from coming on automatically but at nighttime they definitely light up and again motion activated I bought these from Amazon and it looks real cute and I also bought a clear water bottle just so that at nighttime when I'm out I can have it in the car <laughs> And my water bottle will be lighting up all the different LED colors. I know, so extra, but yet, am I extra or do you just not do enough? <laughs> Alright y'all, so that concludes my Tesla vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed meeting Luby Red and seeing like all of the things that we went through over these past couple months of me customizing her. I love her so so much she needs the car wash so that's what we'll be ready to do later this week but i hope y'all enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and make sure you like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it and let me know how y'all feel about electric cars and if y'all ever plan on making a change soon thank y'all for watching and until next time